words they hurt me you'd find out what made me angry then use it to your ability now you're trying to avoid me you're the big problem here a bully to many for so many years now shut your mouth close your ears never learned your lesson and nobody cares that's what you're here for everyone, this is Fantasy Esk and welcome back to The Sims 4 Royal Witch Kingdoms. Today we are continuing with the royal family of Sikar. So in this episode we saw Queen High Queen Fena and um, King Lion finally consummate their marriage. So fingers crossed we are going to have a royal baby on the way soon. If so, this will be like the first royal household in this generation that is um like having heirs because the Ramong house hasn't so far. Luther doesn't count in the Holkin royal family because his uncle is the um the high king, so you know, the uncle is the one who needs um offspring. But anyways, I am very very excited to dive in. Now let's quickly talk uh, about what happened in the movie. So like I said, we had the consummation ritual. We saw that uh, Fena introduced the concept of the Tetrala wind chime, which you guys will be familiar with from earlier this season and then of course back in season one. The Tetrala wind chime, which is hung up after the royal couple consummates their marriage. Um, and obviously because Lion was born a Tira, he was born a noble, 
they don't have this uh, little practice, right? Their consummation happens, but they don't have like any trinkets um, associated with that, um, which they hang up or um, keep in the house as part of that ritual. So it's a royal thing. He got introduced to that and um, they fell very quickly into some alone time. And then afterwards, we had this really nice scene between Princess Padme and King Lion, where they were looking at the bassinets where our queens, Sikar queens, typically give birth. And she was saying how very soon the bassinets are going to be filling up with their, their children. And Padme was just saying how odd it is, or how odd it's been for her and her sister these past couple of years, just them two being alone in the palace when they grew up with such a huge family. Whereas for Lion, it's different. He grew up in a slightly smaller family, I, th I think like a medium-sized family. So he found it a little bit strange, like after his Vlaro, his brother got married. Um, I'm pretty sure he was there for uh, Emmerich's birth, which is why he and Emmerich have a friendship. So, things are a bit different for him and a bit crazy when the family started expanding and getting huge. So, he never really got used to that. But then they were saying, well, he's going to at some point because that's just the Sika way. They have a ton of kids and we're expecting that to continue with these lovelies. So, that's kind of where we left off. Now, Padme has finally managed to get her sister, Princess Luna... Hulkane alone um, to stargaze with her. Luna came by. She was in the neighborhood, or she was in the um, the kingdom, and she dropped by for a visit at night. So these two, they're stargazing, just having some some sisterly time. And also, Padme has become friends with Lion, so I am very happy about that because I do want Lion to settle into this house well. And I feel as though this friendship with Padme is going to be quite important because Feyna is like so flirty. She is so flippin' flirty. I mean, they love birds right now, but I don't know how long this is going to last because she has her eye like on everyone else. Um, so that's slightly concerning, but hey. Now if we go um, over here, as you can see, we have like the wind chime, the royal wind chime up there, uh, which all the royal houses have. And yeah, this is creepy that the ghost of Queen Nala st still has access to this bed. Now, another thing. I am not feeling too well. I think I have, um, like, an onset of fever right now. So, if I sound weird, it is because I have come down with sickness. And uh, today's, like, the first day. I woke up with it, with this odd feeling in my throat this morning. And then my body started being sensitive. But anyways, I need to have content out, which is why I'm doing this. I had some lemp sip with honey, and um, hopefully I will last well for the remainder of this episode. But I was also very excited, and I kind of just wanted to um, check out what's happening with these guys. But yeah, she managed to stargaze with Luna, so that's really great. Um, yeah, so that's worked out. And she it says become friends with the King Lion, but she is friends with him. So I would... I'm, I'm not going to lock that in obviously so i'll let these guys kind of do their own thing now king lion let's see what he is up to what is what does he want to get done so he wants to chat with daphne he also wants to be friendly with Fena. so i'm actually going to get him to come up here and maybe chat with Fena a little bit like brighten her day um we are going to be keeping an eye on her i feel as though Fena is super confident that she is expected or she's going to be we don't know for sure just yet the 24 hour period hasn't gone by just yet but even with her mother nala i don't think nala had even a single um like i don't think she had even a single time where she didn't conceive i think all of her tries were successful so i feel like like she's fain has got fertile genes and she's pretty confident that um, she's going to succeed in having like this big family, just like her parents did. Um, and you... Oh, look at that. She wants to make out with King Lion. Why the flip not? Why don't, why don't you guys like come over here? 
Why don't you guys? And it is cold. You should probably be in your cold weather outfit. Like, I do, don't want you to be freezing or anything like that. Yeah, it's freezing. You better put your cold weather outfit on. Now, let me just quickly check. Yeah, autonomy is on full. Good. That's what I wanted to know. But, since you want to make out with King Lion, that's the thing about her. She's like really she's flirty with others like she's got others on her mind just like she did with Arthur but at the same time she does give him a lot of affection so she's very much like her father I feel hiking Yorick was a little bit like this um, his attention is kind of all over the place now in the previous episode I was talking about like a no jealousy sort of um, lifetime reward which you guys said is a Sims 3 thing. Apparently, if you do the serial romantic, where is it? Where the flip is it? Apparently, if you do the serial romantic thing, yeah, you, the reward trade for this is player. Um, but I think it's fine. We'll just deal without it. And in all honesty, I suppose it makes sense, you know, you would be jealous as, as long as you kind of knew about anything that's happening. So we'll just have to see how she juggles this. Um, and then in terms of wants, so some of you were saying you've got like a UI mod, a cheats mod that helps with rerolling the wants, which I tried, but either I installed it wrong or it didn't work, I don't know. Something wasn't happening. Um, so what I did is, someone else said there was a, like a, want reroll mini mod, um, which I downloaded. So when, I haven't tried it yet, but the option to use it does come up. So if I'm wanting to reroll their wants, I can just right click, go here, reroll wants for Queen Fena, and hopefully that is going to do the magic that we need. Um, and I know someone did mention the want refresher in the rewards store. We have tried that in Vampire Amazon and in my game for some reason it does not work at all. Like the game just resets that whole action and doesn't let them even drink it. So it just doesn't work. Which is why I'm not even bothering with that. Uh, we just gonna deal with things as they are. Okay, so... It is pretty late. I don't know if you'd be able to even invite Daphne. I don't know how he knows her. He must have met her. Actually, you know what? I think she was invited because she is, she was diamonds plus one to the wedding. She was invited to the wedding as diamonds plus one. That makes sense, but okay, here she comes. Why don't you invite her in since she's your guest? And then we will just get him to have a chat with her. I mean, Diamond, like I said, not Diamond, Lion, sorry, Lion, seems very honorable and I don't see him um, going out of his way to do anything untoward with anyone. Um, but we'll have to see w whether or not it stays this way, especially if he finds out that Fane is being not so faithful. But let's discuss fitness techniques. Why not? Let's discuss some fitness techniques. Look at him being all excited. Okay, there we go. But he's building connections here. He's new to the kingdom. He's building connections. That's what this is all about. And she's really sad for some reason. I don't entirely know why. Um, Faina, on the other hand, remember how I said Faina, her eyes are like everywhere? Well, she had this want to flirt with High Queen Nimue, who is like her Najime, her Tetrula Najime, her royal sister-in-law. Um, and I've been thinking, like racking my brain, why would that be a thing? Um, when Nimue and Elrond are having problems, like why would this even be a thing? And then I realized maybe when Elrond came over, um, I feel like the Sikars are the type who would gossip to their siblings about their wife, like their um, spouses. Like they would, yeah, 
they, they would complain if there was anything to complain about. They would complain about their spouses um, with uh, each other, within the siblings. And I feel like um, Elrond came and he had maybe a bit of a gossip session with one of the sisters. And now Faina, basically what they got from that was that something's wrong with Nimue, which is why they're not having any children. So she maybe wants to check, like, what's wrong with Nimue? Why isn't... Why hasn't there been news of an heir? They've been married for a while now. So I think that's probably why she wants to invite Nimue over and see what's going on with her. Like, this whole flirtation thing is actually her just trying to get into Nimue's head and checking to see, like, what's what's the problem entirely that should be... Okay, Nimue's sleeping. Fine then, Nimue. But yeah, she wants to get into Nimue's head, I feel, and figure out what's going on. That should be a queen's priority, is um, having an heir. And um, Nimue apparently is not doing that, at least that what that's what Elrond is saying. So anyways, I am going to leave them be once we have... Oh, no, hold on a second. Lion wants to stargaze with Lady Valena Holbot. That's actually sweet. He wants to stargaze with his Najime. Are they friends? Oh, they are friends. So that's really good. That's really good. Um, you know what? We will try maybe tomorrow, invite over both Valena and Nimue and see what we can do with them. But for now though, I'm going to leave these guys be. It's 10.30 a.m. on Saturday and look at these two. Lion definitely knows how to service his queen. I mean, High Queen Faina is like living the life right now. Look at this. He's like so devoted to her. So devoted to her. Nala didn't even do this for York back in the day. Anyways, Padme um, is cooking up some rice cake. She made some eggs and toast for everyone to eat in the morning. So that's really good. Obviously, you know, as the governess and uh, helper of the house, She's kind of taking on a lot of the duties that Lion typically would because she is a spare and, you know, in terms of hierarchy, she has the lowest position in the house, so she kind of is in charge of doing all of that. So there we go. She's lessening her... Ah, stabellum. That's the word for brother-in-law, right? Her stabellum's duties. So anyways, um, let's get her to use the restroom, actually, because... She really needs to go to the loo. Come on. Go relieve yourself. You do the same. Now, he wants to ask Queen Faina about her day. So, I'm actually going to get him to do that. So, let's come here and ask about her day. See how, see how she is. How everything's going with her. If she's happy this morning. Because he did lavish show it some attention. Now, I don't know if Faina is a attention seeker. I don't necessarily see her as an attention seeker. But her attention is definitely always all over the place. In terms of, like, other people. But, honey, you are cold. Come on, wear your proper cold weather outfit. Everyone should always be in their cold weather. Like, look at these guys. What are they even doing? Um, are they in their right mind? Hold on a second. Like, are you in your right mind? Because it does not seem like you are. You shouldn't be walking around shirtless in this kind of freezing weather. Honestly. Come on, let's get changed. Nice. Okay, he asked her about her day. She seems to be in a good mood, um, let's invite over Valena, and then you guys can, oh, never mind, you want to stargaze with her, well, we can't right now, the queen, however, high queen, can invite Nimue, so, yeah, she's gonna, she's gonna do some investigating of her own, to see what's going on here. Which, obviously, these methods, I'm sure her spouse and her brother will not appreciate. But the Sikars are odd like that. This is the way they do things. But honestly, guys, this fever, this is like the second time this month that 
I've had a fever and it's a bit ridiculous, but what can I do? That's just the way the cookie is crumbling. It's like going in around in my house. My dad had it, then my mom had it, then I did, then my brother did, then my mom had it again. And now it's back to my brother and I. So, yeah, it, we are making our rounds. Okay, uh, Nimue, let us add to group and see where we might be able to sneak off. Now, over here, I don't feel safe because uh, we have windows in this room, so anyone would be able to see. Um, we have windows here as well. If anything, maybe we should like come upstairs because no one's upstairs right now. Like lions down here. So if we can just get Nimue to come upstairs with us while lion is distracted dancing. Um, we'll see. Oh well, Pad freaking hell. Okay, old well, Padme is here. Oh, even, um, even Fane is not feeling too well, Oh. Okay, well, are you gonna go down, Padme? Uh, are you gonna go down, maybe? Doesn't seem as though she's going down. It would've been great if she did, though. Okay, she doesn't want to. She's like, no, nope, I am not going down at all. Is that actually, is there a spot outside we can go to? Maybe we can send them out here. Like, I know there's windows, but there aren't any windows. And there aren't any doors either, which really, there should be a door there. That is so odd. Why is there, like, no doors back here? Hold on a second. BB, move objects on. Yeah, there should be a door here. There originally was, but then for some reason uh, that door got cancelled. You know what makes so much sense? Why? <laughs> Did I put a bookshelf here? Like, there should be a door up here as well. Ugh, silly me. You know what? I probably made these changes and like completely forgot about them. Hold on a second. Because there should be a door up here as well. Yeah, there we go. And now we can get um, some other bookshelves. Would that be under surfaces? Or would that be under storage? Okay, it's under storage. Well, these are bookends. Um, you know, we want like... I want some kind of bookshelf here. Well, that's a little bit too much for that space. Like, I don't want it to be that crazy. I'm trying to think, where can I flip and shove a bookshelf? I mean, I could just pop one here. Maybe that's what I have to do. Like, just pop a bookshelf here, and then pop another one here. Yeah, that works. Why not? I don't want something so huge that we can't really get across. Because th there's, like, very narrow spaces here. But you guys, hold on a second. Let's come out. Let's sit here together. I know it's absolutely freezing, but let's just go outside. And I also know you're sick, so you probably don't really want to be out here. But this is like <laughs> the place where we have the most privacy. Okay, and really, you guys should be using this outdoor spot a lot more. Okay, let's now flirt with her before we run away. Don't run away. Don't, please don't run away. Yep, sit back down. And let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Oh, yep, no, nope, she's not having it. <laughs> yeah, Fane is kind of like flirting with everyone, but nobody really is having it. Like, Arthur wasn't happy with this whole thing. Nimue isn't. Nimue's like, probably like, what's going on? Like, what are you doing right now? Is what she's wondering. She's like, what the heck are you doing? I am your sister-in-law. She's so confused. 
Okay, I'm gonna re-roll these once because I've already fulfilled them. And now I'm actually very excited to check out this mod. Uh, let's see. Does it work? Is the question. Oh, don't tell me it doesn't work. I'll be so sad if that's the case. I did just click it. It didn't work. Oh no, don't do this to me. Let's see if I send her to take a nap, if maybe when she wakes up from the nap. Because apparently it waves where you're all when you sleep and then when you wake up. Oh, she's sick too. Okay, we'll have to check up on that in a second. But like, it's not even working for him. Which is a little bit odd. Ugh. Like what, do I have to send them to bed in the middle of the day? That's not too fun. Can you nap in your chair? Okay, he's gonna go in here. He's gonna nap for a bit. This is just silly. Can you nap in here? I don't know if he can nap in here. I don't think he can. And you know what? Oh no, guys. Look. There's no option for a pregnancy test. So she, she did not conceive. Darn it. It would have been great if I could have gotten... Ah, oh, that makes me so upset. Let's disband the group. But, oh, I wish I could re-roll these once, but nope. Nope, nope, nope. That is so odd. Look, I don't know why this cheat won't work. The option is there. Reroll once, but it is not working. Hold on a second. Testing cheats true. It's enabled. And it's still not working. Huh. How strange. How strange. Do they once re-roll after, like, they take a nap, or does it re-roll after they just, um, sleep, like, they have to sleep? Well, I don't know, but I'm gonna, um, play around with them a bit more. Maybe when they have some new ones, then, because we cleared up a few, like, we cleared up all their ones, so maybe if they have some new ones, then we can jump back in and continue with that. It's 5.40 a.m. on Sunday. The Sikral sisters are having breakfast together, grilled cheese and rice cake, and we have some new whims to work with. So Princess Padme wants to be friendly with her stag duh. So why don't we enthuse about the meal? Because I think that was a very nice grilled sandwich. That looked like a yummy grilled sandwich. So let's compliment the meal. Also, Overnight, Elrond contacted us, not for what we were hoping, but he was asking Padme if he should uh, get to know Lord Arthur more as a friend. So, I guess they are building a connection there. He's making friends, which is good, because he should. Um, any other whims you can work with? Yes, Faina wants to make out with Lion once more. And really, any of these romantic ones, I am totally happy to get done and, you know, out of the way because I'm hoping that they are going to lead into a try for a baby want at some point. So I am going to let them have these wants as much as possible. Now, unfortunately, the flip and reroll mod didn't even work for me. Like, it's there and I've got testing cheats enabled, but it just does not work. So I guess I just have to wait it out um, playing the game just like I normally do, which is so unfortunate. But hey, I will make it work. Right, here we go. There we go. I feel like it's usually always Feyna initiating these, um, like, sessions. Isn't it? 
It's usually Faina. She's definitely the more forward one. But then again, even in the movie, she did tell him that, like, not to think too much about things because she's going to take the lead. Uh, and I feel like she would be kind of proactive because of that. Um, but still, unfortunately, she did not conceive. So that is not the best of news. Cloud gazed with Princess Luna. Hey, that's something you can do during the day. Yeah, that's something you can definitely do. So let's let's invite over Luna. Let's invite over Princess Luna. And you have a very small array of friends. I where is she? She's somewhere here. Ah well, let's just go and cloud gaze. Even if we have to go out, I suppose we can uh, take a bit of a walk out in this lovely cold weather. But she has a very small group of acquaintances, Padme does. She knows Feyna, Luna, Lion, Elrond, Velena, and Queen Zara from Eoja, which is intriguing. She doesn't know nearly as many people as the, the others do. Which makes sense, she's a bit more sheltered, like she's living, she's kind of like Lyra. Her whole life has been spent in the palace, she doesn't really need to be connected to the nobles, she doesn't have to be connected to all the royals necessarily. So anyways, you're gonna take your book with you? I mean, hey, if you want, I'm not gonna stop you. And every time these sims have been like bathing and stuff, I have been getting, or showering, I've been getting them to do all of the flirty options, like the ones, the ro the baths with the rose petals, or like a steamy shower. Because I'm hoping that them being in the appropriate mood is going to spawn the appropriate whims. So where is your sister? Like where the heck is she? How far away is she? Oh my goodness, where are you? Okay, not too far. We are almost upon her, and then we're probably going to invite over Queen Zara because Padme saw Zara at the wedding, and she is very fascinated by Zara with how like beautiful she looks. But Zara is quite a, a fussy witch; she's a fussy character. So let's let's cloud gaze with our but no, don't say goodbye. Let's cloud gaze with our beloved sister. Are you complaining? What are you doing? Did you see that? She was like looking off onto the side. And then she was uh, she was yammering about something. Oh come on, let's cloud gaze. Pretty please. I ran all this way for you. Please cloud gaze with me. Come on, are you sick now? I feel like everyone is sick. Oh my goodness. Everyone is sick. In the game, out the game, all over the place. Come on. Surely. You know what? Let's um, ask to hang out. Yes, please. Ask to hang out. Let's chat here. And then see if we can maybe cloud gaze off in that direction. Let's try and cloud gaze. I'm wondering if the bridge was perhaps causing some issues. What does this even mean? This is so silly. Go back home. I feel like they should be able to cloud gaze here, but apparently that is not the case. Go back home. See if you can call Luna to hang out with you. Like, honestly, come on. That's just silly. That is just silly. And a bit frustrating. Not gonna lie. Are you gonna go listen to Luna freak out? Why is Luna freaking out? I don't even know. Luna, why are you freaking out? I have no clue. Maybe she is just really concerned and stressed for her future. And her son's future. I mean, Edmund has said that, he, I mean, they are engaged to each other, so they will be married. She is ceremoniously known as Queen 
Luna Hulkane, but her actual title is princess right now because she hasn't married him just yet. But anyways, can you please like cloud gaze with us? Cloud gaze. Look at them freaking out. Like what is she doing? I don't even know. She's having like a total meltdown. Uh, thank you for the invitation, Nimue, but we do not wish to go to the flea market. We are busy trying to make social calls over here. Um, and hopefully getting everyone in the mood for procreation, which apparently is just not working out. Okay, Luna. Let's go cloud gaze. Yes, thank you. I have to say, I kind of like the fact that the sisters are spending a lot of time together. I didn't think they would be spending this much time together, but it's nice to know that they want to interact with one another. That makes me really happy. Especially because, um, like at least with Luna, you know, she's in a whole other kingdom. Now where are you guys going to cloud gaze? Behind the palace? Right at the back, where we have this beautiful expanse of snow and flat ground. That could work. That could work. Okay, Luna. Come on. And actually, Luna was the first wedding to happen in their, like Luna and Vex, they were the first ever wedding to happen in their generation. So that was kind of a big, big deal. Oh. Oh. Sister, cloud gaze with us, please. I swear, she comes up with every excuse not to. Luna, you sat your butt down and then you just got up. Like, what was that about? What was that about? Come on, cloud gaze. Finally, there we go. That took like forever to get sorted. But now you should probably invite over Queen Zara. Now Padme, I feel like she wants to flirt with Zara because she's like fascinated by how different and beautiful Zara is. And she is like an, al an alchemist witch, right? So they practice like a different school of magic in Yoja as well. So I feel like she's fascinated by that. But yeah, let's invite over the queen. Now her king probably isn't gonna be too happy if you flirt with her. But since Padme is not in a relationship and the King of Wayne isn't here, I'm not going to get them to hide or anything like that. Let's invite her in and then you just dive into the, the floods. Now she and Zara like don't even know each other that well, so I don't imagine Zara taking this flirtation that well. But we'll see. We will see. Come on, Zara, what's going on with you? What's going on with you? Zara's really pretty, I have to say. She's very, very pretty. Okay, Zara. The the princess of Sika is fascinated with you. Are you going to reciprocate to this fascination or maybe not so much? Why are you all the way out here? She's like in there. These sims sometimes are so silly walking back and forth. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, okay, never mind then. She is uh, taking that well. She did take that quite well. I think uh, Zara is probably flattered more than anything. She's like not offended by that in the least. She's just flattered. Which is fine, I'm happy for them to kind of talk things out. But Faina wants to chat with Daphne. And that I can interpret, and it seems friendly, so I suppose she just wants to um, get to know one of the future nobles of her kingdom. Because Daphne is currently in Ramong, but she is going to be married to Diamond pretty soon. So yeah, that makes sense. Let's, um... Let's enthuse about magic cats because that's something we want to invest in at some point. We have two people here that, well, the queen specifically likes magic cats. 
uh, Padme likes any sort of magical creature. So I feel like this is definitely something um, she'd want to talk about. Uh, we don't want to repair this. Let's replace. And I didn't realize they, she could like wear facial masks and stuff. Huh. And I just never do that with these guys. They definitely are more luxurious and spa oriented and I probably should do more of those things around the place. But that's fine. Okay, good. They had a bit of a chat. Um, I have fulfilled everyone's whims for now. So I guess we'll just um, let them do their own things for the rest of the day and then maybe we'll come back when we have even more exciting things. Seriously, I hope we get a want like we did with um, Meralda. Meralda was so lucky. She didn't conceive the second time, but like at least she had the want to try, you know? Uh, and I really love our royal house to get going. Like, our royal houses are not... Um, they're just stuck right now. Like, none of them are having heirs. And I feel like this is problematic. Especially because they're getting up there in age. Like, come on, honeys. Get a move on. What's going on? Well, it is the middle of the night. Both the High Queen and King had a nightmare. They obviously sleep in separate chambers. And um, to overcome that, they decided to come down here and do some dancing. And then Fane, of course, wants to make out with King Lion. So, I am going to take them both right over here. And, I mean, it is very cold, so they should probably, there we go, switch into something slightly more comfortable. So should Padme. She woke up as well. She didn't have a nightmare or anything, but she woke up as well. I think uh, the, like crunch of the snow with them you know walking around everywhere and probably the blasting music woke her up that's oh nope that's not what i wanted that is not what i wanted um here we go here we go so let these two have some midnight time with one another but i am so disappointed that she did not conceive like i was really really hoping that we would have at least one royal house with an heir but for now it's just not happening like none of the sikars none of the sikars are helping us out to be fair elrond is no longer a sikar he's a ramong now but still i was hoping like maybe maybe that'd be something apparently not we, we, d we don't get the fun stuffs. But that's fine. Um, I suppose we'll just have to leave them be. I mean, every royal family has their own drama. And it seems as though the drama with the families, the royals this time around, is going to be, like, whether or not they even have a flippin' air. None of the nobles seem to be having a problem. Because so far this season, we've played with uh, two of the noble houses, and both of them have produced an air. Um, this is the only one where we haven't had that. Actually, if I'm... I don't know if I'll be able to trace this from their, um, from their families, but can I somehow get to... Oh my goodness, they had a baby. Okay, well, geez, it looks as though Dorian, um, Looks as though he and Valena had a third baby. Wow. So their son Soren has become a child. And looks as though they've had a third son. So I'm not going to hover over him just yet. Because obviously I have to give him a name. And I can only do that once he is a toddler. So mystery baby boy. Um, I can tell it's a boy because in The Sims 4, if they're wearing green, it's usually a boy. If they're wearing yellow, it's a girl. So, third son. Third son. Well, these two at least are helping us procreate. Like, thank goodness. But I want to get to Artros. Because I want to see what kid they have. Ah, darn it. Diamond isn't married yet. If he was, we could have totally connected to Artros and then... Or to Daphne and then checked out Artros. But, unfortunately... Uh, yeah, and then Arthur isn't even related to anyone. Nimue isn't related to any of the nobles in her kingdom, which sucks. But, um, they have, I think, one kid. 
I know they were trying for a second, but I don't remember if they ended up having a second. Huh. Fascinating. Lion, you have like another nephew. You have another nephew. That's just wild. Okay, well, anyways, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. When we come back next time, we are going to pick up with, I think, the noble family of Sisida. So actually, yeah, we're going to be having Diamond's wedding to Daphne. So there will be that to look forward to. We get to see the noble wedding attire for the kingdom of Sikar. And hopefully they have a better luck. Like, they've got a better time and luck than the royals are having because... I was, I was hoping for more than this, but, but hey, we work with what we have. But okay guys, I will see you next time, bye bye.